Are you a new homeowner or first time home buyer? Know that most times window treatment does not come with your newly purchased home. Or if you're buying a pre-owned home, the window treatment might be kind of dated and need some sprucing up and refreshing. You don't need to hire a contractor in order to place the blinds. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the Level Lore 2 inch blinds. Let's dive in. So step one is going to be measure your opening to see if it's a standard opening. Most times it'll be a standard opening and you won't have to get any trim work done in your blinds. If it isn't, you're going to have to get an alteration done and the folks at the store will be able to help you out with that trim. If it's a standard window and it's a standard size, you're in luck and you can just grab the box off the shelf. Next, I suggest you put the hardware on and measure it, that it makes sure it's gonna fit in that window space. Then if it does, mark your holes. Then drive a pilot hole to get the hole started. Do that on both sides. Next, drive your screws. Snug it up, but don't strip it out. Oops. This is not only going through the drywall of your window frame, but it's also going into the two by four of your construction. and hang your blinds. Then close the door to make sure they stay in place. Now we can try them out. The up and down works good. There's a spring inside the blinds that takes it up and lets it down. It holds it at that height. Sometimes that spring wears out over time and you may need to replace the blinds. And turn the rod to make sure the angle changes. And these are good. Now we can install the valance. Then we're gonna clip the valance clips on the blinds. And they roll into place. And they just rest right up against it from the back. They just rock on into place. And center the balance. And try it out again. And in no time at all, you've successfully installed your two inch faux wood level or blinds. But wait, there's more. I told you we were gonna show you how to trim. We take it all the way down here to see how much we need to trim off. And I think I'm gonna leave. So I'm gonna trim off these bottom three. I'm gonna trim just below this one loop. You wanna mark the new bottom slat on both ends. And you don't wanna take that out. Then you're gonna slide out the extra slats. Next, we're gonna cut the cross support straps for all the ones we're not using. And the connector loops. It's real important we don't cut the length tension. and do that for all three.
probably ought to have sharp scissors. And cut the connector loops. Now, without cutting the lift cords, which are these guys that have tension on them, cut about three inches down on the blind cords. The center doesn't have a lift cord. Next, you wanna lift the base up, lift your bottom slat, Remove this end. Slide this spine out. Then we're gonna carefully push out these buttons from inside like so. like so, before putting the cat back. Thread that through there. And now that you have the ends in there, reattach that cap. So let's say you're done with your installation and removing your slats, but you find that they're uneven. You still have a chance to adjust the level of this. You just pop out this end cap, remove this spine that you see in there. I'm gonna do it right past the camera. That's a good shot right there. And then pop out these buttons and adjust the length of these side guys. Pop that out and pull out the slack. Push it back in. Like so. See how that's touching now? I'm gonna do the same with the others. Okay, so I need to remove the slack on the back side. Take this out a bit. Something like that. And push it back in. Once we have a nice straight line then, we go back over here, slide that spine in there, all the way across, and we snap our end cap back in place. Just like so. They have these clips that go in that hole. I found they're pretty much useless. I just let ours hang. I hope this is helpful. For more household tips like this one, click the image on your screen now and be sure to like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. It's the only way that I have to know that these are helpful videos. I'll see you in the next video.